Hello Southies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Sessie and today I'm doing a speed build and for this speed build I wanted to do a converted barn. So currently uh, you'll see me making the barn. I set it on a diagonal which can be sort of frustrating but I felt like a barn facing the roadway just didn't look very natural so I decided like I said to turn it diagonal and made a little bit natural and so the family that I have that's going to be living here is a couple and their small daughter so you'll have Andrea and Jenna Andrea Andrea is a professor in archaeology and Jenna is a, I have her set as a freelance writer, but she'll also have a yoga studio where she does yoga out of. So I wanted to go ahead and make this barn look like sort of an old abandoned barn and then add on to it. And then they have, sorry, then they have a little toddler daughter named Antonia, who's a little inquisitive girl and they, they, they are adults. And so I imagine that Andrea and Jenna for the last couple of decades have just been working and saving money to move out of the city and move to the countryside of Windenburg. Maybe Jenna grew up in uh, on a farm and has always wanted to go back to the farm, especially after living in the city for so long. And when they decided that they wanted to raise a family, they went ahead and, and bought this property. And so Jenna is the, no, not Jenna. Andrea is the bio mom of the daughter. And then I did create a Sim to be the father. And I kind of wish we actually had the ability to have surrogates in the game or, you know, sperm donor in the game instead of just adopting because that is one way that many couples especially same-sex couples make families they find a donor they find a surrogate um, that they think would have really good qualities and they start a family that way and it is a very valid way to start a family just like adoption uh, so I made that guy and then I kicked him out the house and, <laughs> and set him to not the father so he doesn't come around and be a, a weirdo <laughs> around the house so but yeah as you can see i built the main centerpiece which will house all the bedrooms and the bathrooms it is made of concrete you guys if you've watched any of my speed builds know that i enjoy a little bit of concrete and then over here this little wood barn or this little wood section that is going to be the yoga studio and yeah i think it turned out pretty well the hardest part will be decorating the barn but it actually came together fairly easily i didn't think that it would because it's been so long since i've built on a diagonal and i just remember in the past building on diagonal was so frustrating for me so i'm just putting in really modern windows and Especially to the studio because I want it to feel very bright and airy. Actually, at this point in building, I didn't know what that room could be. I knew I wanted the barn to be the family room, you know, or the great room to house at least the kitchen and the dining. But when I got in there to start decorating, as you'll see, I realized I had so, there was so much room to do activities in there. So I, as I was building, I decided to make that little wood extension the yoga studio. Now I'm working on the landscaping and even though they live on a farm, it is, or at least a farmland, it's not a functioning actual farm. So I wanted there to be some landscaping that was slightly manicured, but a little bit wilder than some of the other landscaping I've done recently. I can't wait to do a house where I just go crazy with the landscaping. It's been a while since I've been 
able to do that but I decided to make a little gravel pathway and then I think I changed that whole area to gravel and I forgot to put cars so there aren't gonna be cars in the screenshots but I will be sure to put cars when I post this house on the gallery I know we don't have functioning cards but for the realism and I did want trees that matched the surrounding so I believe off camera I do go into debug and I find some trees that match the surrounding area so you'll see those in the screenshots and now I'm working on the converted barn portion of the build and it is the vibe of this particular space I wanted it to feel sort of eclectic and have a lot of sort of traditional type of like kitchen so that's why I use those parenthood kitchens because those feel very farmhouse to me it's so in my head these this family or at least the the two moms they used to live in the city and they spent all of their money on buying and converting this property and building the expansion so they probably don't have didn't have a whole lot of money left over for really overt furniture so they probably bought a few extra pieces but most of the furniture in my mind came from their apartment when they had in the city so it doesn't look like it matches but I think for the vibe that they have it's fine I, I will say they're probably a really no fuss type of couple when it comes to decor so they're not bothered but I did kind of build this entire thing without looking at any reference photos on Pinterest like not even just to kind of get a vibe of how I wanted this place to look I just sort of started to put things down and see how they work which is always a fun way to build I feel like finding things on Pinterest there's always a bit of a challenge built in there to kind of find things that are you know trying to match the photo or trying to get the right vibe from the photo but it's also fun to just sort of put things down and see what happens and that's exactly what I did with this build and I think it turned out pretty great I really love this living area it just looks so nice and cozy and I loved putting in super modern things with sort of things that look like they're really old or they're handmade so those chairs from fitness stuff pack I love those chairs so much I probably put them in just a crazy amount of builds and then I did this little bookcase thing because Andrea is a teacher and I'm I suspect that they are a couple that does a lot of reading I did put a TV in here but I don't know I like having TVs but kind of as I was thinking about the couple they're probably really not a TV family they probably don't want their daughter to be zoned out in front of the television so <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it because you might want the TV in your build uh, they're probably also a very musical family as well and they love listening to music and reading books so yeah I think this living room or this great room turned out really great I was happy with how the super modern looking chairs looked really good with that very farmhouse looking table so before I came up with the family I did think a child or at least children would live here so that's why you see me putting those things down I do get rid of them and put just a small little toy box and a toddler activity table and we do have some curtains for privacy and I did have to put in a lot of light in this build I don't know if it's because it was set at a diagonal or what but there were a lot of dark corners in this build which I did not appreciate so the next after I'm done with this room I think I move on to yeah I move on to the hallway and the office I did have to make a few changes to make it fit a little better I did put a full bathroom down here you'll see me kind of make that change where the closet is 
and the hallway is just a hallway there's not a whole lot going on i put down some wood floors found some barn house doors and this office like i said will be where andrea does most of her archaeology work but i also put in a murphy bed in that room as well so that if you have guests coming over they can sleep there i know we don't really invite people over but if you had a sim like if a family and you wanted them to go visit other family members then they could go sleep down here like I said a full bathroom that is accessible downstairs which is especially good for the yoga students if they want if a couple of them want to take a shower before they leave I do that um, and again there's a very sort of muted vibe to this house it's not overtly colorful and I kind of like that. Um, I like that it's sort of a very low key vibe color wise. I do rearrange the furniture in here, but I did kind of want you to see my first attempts. And some of this stuff I imagine are like thrift shop buy so that desk is not very uh, new and modern. It's probably a thrift shop buy. And, the reason I had to move things around, I wanted to be able to make sure that you could get to that archaeology table as well as the Murphy bed. Of course, if you put the Murphy bed down, nobody can get to the table, but you can always lift it up. And then I put that table there to, ho to hold some archaeological stuff. Um, you're not going to see me clutter this build too much because I did not know at first what I wanted for this family. As you can see, I'm kind of kind of trying to think of what to use with this space before I came up with, oh, maybe it's an art studio or a yoga studio. And I might have keep wanting to say that. You could easily make this an art studio if you want to. It, there's enough space. So yeah, I put more windows so that there is more access with nature. In my mind, you could probably, those windows in the back are probably accordion style and you could open them up. So in the warmer months, there's a nice breeze coming in. I did put a yoga instructor map down at first because I thought Jenna could be could like host yoga but it wouldn't work it has you so you have to have a spa or gym for the instructor map to work so off camera I do just make it a map like or a mat like the rest of them so but it's fine you can always make a group and have one of the activities be yoga and you can invite them over and everybody could do yoga together. I put these little plants because I thought maybe they're like herbs and things that have a really good aroma that kind of can float throughout the studio and plus they could use it for dinner and things like that. I put a little treadmill in here to get in some cardio. I do put the, the spa day aromatherapy candles in the back as well so you'll also see me put a little coffee and tea station I get rid of that because I realize I don't have any room for laundry and for me I like playing with laundry and it's easier to just put it in than not put it in and so here I decided to make that door uh, to access the family room because if she's hosting yoga there are probably going to be strangers coming in the house and so i wanted that space to be closed off and of course if when she becomes friends with those people they can go in that section and hang out but i put that curtain there probably the most colorful thing downstairs is that curtain to hide the laundry so yeah um I'm gonna start once I'm done. Yes, yeah, go upstairs. So this is the math or the bedroom. There's only one. There's two bathrooms in the house, but they this, this bedroom is not an ensuite. It's just slightly bigger. I will expand it a little to make it a little bit bigger because I wanted them to have a walk-in closet. Who builds a house and doesn't put in a walk-in closet? So, but yeah, it's kind of muted, sort of dark tones in here very earthy because I think they're very earthy kind of ladies and I thought it would 
be nice to have their room sort of look a little bit more sophisticated so there you see I'm expanding that extension just so they have a little bit more space in this room to have a walk-in closet so yeah I love how this room turned out I didn't clutter it too much I don't think they're clutter people um, so but it is a really nice room and oh yeah and then the toddler bedroom which I will be moving to very shortly is gender neutral itself so there's greens I want it to look like a field like she's playing out little Antonia play is playing out in a field but I have a little toddler bed and I created a little changing station and I have some toys up here I think I might have made some changes to this room as well I can't think of when I do that but when I was kind of morphing the bedrooms I noticed I needed a little bit more room in the family bathroom but I am coming up on the end of the build if you enjoyed it please let me know by way of pressing the like button comment down below your favorite part and if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me please subscribe I try to post, I try to post every week and I would love to have you be a part of the Southie family as always my name is Ceci and I promise never to break your game bye Thank you.